All right, it's 26 Sports. I'm here with Mikey Garcia out here at Robert Garcia's Boxing Academy. Hey, so you were just, you know, nominated for the Hall of Fame, man. First, how does that feel to be nominated for the Hall of Fame? Yeah. And, you know, just what's your thoughts on the, uh, the whole process? Well, I, it's pretty cool. I I never imagined I'd be mentioned. Um, and I was not expecting anybody to, you know, reach out or, or to mention me, you know, nominate me. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool feeling. They're like, oh shit, they consider me, you know, Hall of Fame worthy. Yeah. Even that is just, you know, in itself is, is an honor. You look at the list of names there, of fighters, you got some great champions, um, you know, current, you know, recent, and also older, you know, from uh, older uh, decades ago. And yeah, it's a tough, tough yeah. list to, to pick just three, yeah. you know? So I was looking at, at, at the different nominees there and Manny is, is, is mentioned oh. with me the yeah. first time he's, he's getting called. And I, who else? I think, uh, Lucien Butte and Sean Porter also mentioned. Yeah, and then Casamayor. Uh, but then you have the list of yeah. all the ones that were there prior, right? But just the new the new class that's getting mentioned, like me and Manny. So obviously Manny's getting yeah. in. So now you only got basically two so, spots. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, when you look at the list of all the guys, not necessarily competing with each other, because yeah. obviously we're not doing anything, but the people that are voting, the panel of people that vote on this, they got a, a, a serious list of names that were world champions, mm -hmm. you know, in their time, super, super respected world champions. So I can't hold my breath to say that, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get in or oh, confidence, I'm gonna get in. Nah, it's, it's tough. But like I said, just being mentioned and honored like that is, is, is a great, great honor. Yeah, and then, uh, as you said, you know, Manny for sure is getting in. Oh, for sure. First Porter probably, probably has a case at some yeah, point, he, even he, if it's he, not right away. Even if it's not this year, you know, but a lot of the names, you know, they've been there for a few yeah. years, and you can make a case for all of them, honestly. Yeah. I mean, they're mentioned for a reason. Yeah. They had respectable careers. They had world championship fights that were meaningful, that changed the, 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 the game, of, you know, the history of in, in sports. So, obviously, that's why they're mentioned. Yeah. And even they have had years where they're still waiting, so... Uh, I mean, I could be there for, for you know, four or five, ten years. I don't know. It, I could be one of those names that's always there. Yeah. But uh, like I said, just to be mentioned, this is a pretty, pretty big honor. Yeah, now that you said, though, that you're on that list, do you think now at some point you will get in, even if it's not this first time? Uh, yeah, I mean, now that you're on the list, that's the that's, that's, mm -hmm. uh, first step. So, I mean, I, if, if Manny wasn't <laughs> on, on this list, I, I think I have a better chance because now you got three spots yeah. versus right now Manny being in there. That's immediately, you know, Hall of Famer. So now you're left with only two spots, and that's that's the only thing that you're gonna be now, you know, down to two yeah. instead of three. But I mean, I, I'm just, I'm not I'm not one to be like, damn, I, I gotta be on the Hall yeah. of Fame. I did this, I did that. I'm not claiming the spot. Yeah. Uh, people vote. Congratulations to everyone who everyone who's yeah. on the list for being mentioned, for being honored. You know, that's. That's huge. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm pretty surprised myself. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool that they consider my name, you know? Yeah. Now, when you look back at your career, and you, obviously they put you in the category to be in the Hall of Fame. When you look back, is there a fight or, you know, a moment that you think for sure is what made people think, yeah, Mikey's definitely a Hall of Famer? Nah, I, I, like I said, I never imagined or thought that I'd be mentioned or like one fight, oh, this yeah. is going to get me to a Hall of Fame. It was never like that. I mean, I, I took every fight serious I, I fought you know the names of the opponents the champions from when i was a featherweight yeah you know we we always i always wanted like the top names and i, I was driven by giving you know big fights like that big names and we did and i fought my 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 fights i had a good career and i mean i i did what i could have done i don't know if i could have done anything better there's things that maybe looking back and eh, maybe you could have done something else also but yeah. I'm happy with my career, man. Now, you know, uh, you said you don't have a specific moment. Which fight of yours was your favorite fight that you ever had? Like your your best, your favorite victory? Um, there's a few victories that that were special for me for a few reasons. One of them, coming back from the layoff and winning my third world title, the WBC lightweight mm -hmm. title was big and, and special because I was coming from a layoff where a lot of people counted you know me out or think, didn't, didn't really quite think I was going to be able to become world champion after two year layoff yeah. and, and and fighting at a third division against the guy, Dijon at the time was super, was undefeated right? was undefeated yeah. string of knockout victories so it was like yeah. dude that's a dangerous fight for Mikey on, on his return yeah. you know, uh, so there was a lot of doubt 
So beating him and, you know, knocking him out, knocking him out the way I did and winning the WBC world title, a title that my dad had kind of, you know, chased after with, with my brother Rob, with Fernando, never quite was able to win that title with his fighters. But now I get to do it for him. You know, yeah. that makes it special for that reason. Yeah. Um, my fight with, with Robert Easter here at, at Staples Center. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was a big fight because we were both the undefeated mm -hmm. champions, the only undefeated champions in the division at the time. And he had the IBF title, I had the WBC title. So we we're unifying the titles, which is, you know, one champion against the champion. Yeah. Right? And he's undefeated. Yeah. So that's special. Um, and it was a great sold out arena. Yeah, so a, all that makes, fight, it, yeah. makes it very special personally, you know, yeah. for, for, for myself. I was like, at the peak of my career, peak of my you know highlight type, where I'm undefeated, unified, you know world champion, lightweight champion, I was at the top, you know. So that's very special for me for those reasons. Um, other than that, I mean the fight that I lost, even the fight I lost with Mr. Errol Spence, yeah, that's, can't imagine that I was able to pull so many people. Was and, it 45? Uh, 40 some thousand yeah, people, yeah. you know. We were able to put a show together. Yeah in texas where we're at cowboy stadium yeah. having the biggest show of the year for, the, for for boxing most you know attendance for the for, for boxing show that year i lost okay so yeah. what but i fought for a fifth world title yeah. division against the number one guy at yeah. the time errol spence and just to get to that level is yeah it's impressive fight, for me yeah. like dude like Look at what we're able to fucking do, you know. Yep. Look at where I made. As it, you said, you, know? you started at featherweight to go yeah, up to that so weight. All that, you know, that, those were very, very memorable fights for me. Yeah. Now, uh, obviously, your brother still trains. You come out here a lot. Being around boxing, does that give you the itch to ever try just maybe one more? Or are you done completely now? I've been done. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> I was done before I even stepped foot inside the last, the last time. I already knew it was gonna be the last one. I just didn't care for it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have the drive anymore. I was in a way maybe burnt out mm -hmm. where I was just tired of it. The routine, the discipline, the education that it takes, it's tough, it takes a toll. Um, and the time just came to say yeah. goodbye. I'm, I don't wanna do this no more. I'll come hang out once in a while, yeah. spend some time here, watch the sparring and talk to the guys and we'll crack some jokes with the fellas here. And that's it, I don't plan on fighting. Retired for sure. I'm up bro, get Ben right now when you get there, right? Okay, sorry, thank you. I just asked him right now. <laughs> All right, so with the other things you got going on in your life, man, how, how is it just, you know, retiring and all the other things besides, you know, evicting people? <laughs> <laughs> Look. I, I, I get asked all the time, you know, like, okay, so what are you doing now? Are you yeah. retired? I'm retired. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? Fuck, I'm retired, bro. You know, fortunately, I had a good career. I was able to make some good decisions financially that allowed me to retire yeah. comfortably from, from the sport. So, being so, I mean, what, do I, what am I doing? I'm, I'm just enjoying life. Living life. I'm, I'm trying to travel often. I, I'm traveling often. I travel to different uh, different cities, different countries. Um, spend a lot of time with the family. Trying to, trying to enjoy more time yeah. with the family and friends. You know, because when you're in boxing, it was always boxing number one. Everything else came secondary and third. So you don't always get all the time with the family. You don't always have the time with the friends. You don't have holidays, you don't have birthdays, you don't have celebrations, because you're dedicated to boxing. You miss a lot, right? Yeah. And you miss a lot of that. Now, I'm trying to make that, you know, make make up for all that t lost time. So I'm spending a lot of time with the family and, and friends and just enjoy life. Yeah. Um, I don't plan on, on coming back to boxing anytime soon. If I do come back as an advisor or manager or something like that, I could possibly Maybe. do that. I could okay. see myself doing something like that okay. in the future. Okay. Not right now. Okay. Because if I were to do that right now, that means I have to be dedicated again. Okay. And I'm not done, you know, enjoying myself <laughs> yet. Give me give me some time, maybe I will. Okay. Obviously there's there's a, a a lot that I can give back with my experience. I can give a lot of knowledge and, and, and advice to a lot of the younger fighters. Yeah. So even right now, I, I do speak to the kids. I do give them advice. And I don't do it full time, yeah. 
but I, I always offer you know some some advice and some help and guidance when a fighter needs it yeah. when they ask for it so maybe I can do that later as a career but not right now right now it's not not in the you know in the immediate future I'm just chilling right now yeah. So as you said, you know, you retired, uh, you got all your facilities intact, you, you're exactly. enjoying life. What advice do you give to the fighters that maybe, you know, they should get out of there? Cause you know, we, we see these guys every year where you know, you should probably get out of there while you still can before it gets to that bad point. Um, what, what advice do you give to them? I've said it before and I, I repeat myself, you know, when someone asked me like, dude, like you were young, you were only 33. I mean, you're only 36 though, so you can still yeah. be fighting. I know physically I could, but I don't have that drive, so I'm not doing it. And my answer, you know, when they asked me, why did you retire so young? I, I'm 33 and you were healthy 33. It's not like you were going through wars, getting beat up, where your body's already diminishing. Yeah. No, I was good. But if you can walk away from a sport like boxing, how dangerous it is, and, and how many fighters we've seen that stick around a little too long. If you can retire from a sport healthy, with all your faculties and, and able to continue living whether it's with another job another career do something else in life you're already winning yeah you already won so any fighter that's close to retirement or, or considering retirement take a good look at your career take a good look at, at where you are now versus 10 years ago yeah. and, i mean do you think you're gonna go back in time you think you're gonna be able to do more than you could have done back then 10 years ago if the answer is no which most likely it is yeah. no then Maybe it's time to retire, you know? Maybe you can take an easy fight to retire, yeah. but that's it. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be any more money or more titles. and It's not going to change, you know? You're risking yourself at that point now just you're only for risking it. your health. You're only risking your, your, your body. It's not it's not worth it, yeah. you know? Even for me right now, I've, I was retired. I've retired. I've been retired three years, and I keep getting calls for fights once in a while, especially talks about fights with Manny Pacquiao. They have not stopped for three years. <laughs> and that's been even before even where before, you guys were active, right? Yeah. Before, there was always these talks, conversations. Yeah. Just August, I had late, late, late August, I still had conversations regarding a fight with Manny Pacquiao. And I'm like, dude, I'm done. I don't care yeah. for it. I mean, if it was completely something really cool with him, I, I might do something with him because just to have the honor yeah. of stepping in the ring. I mean, but not for the money or not yeah. for a title because it, it, that doesn't it's not there anymore yeah. but doing something with him like an exhibition be, type of thing if it was an exhibition i'd be donating all that money whatever money yeah. that i was generating i'd be donating it like, like i said it's not for the money it's not for, but just to fucking be in the room with him that'd yeah. be fucking cool yeah that would. you know give the fans something like that entertainment wise and step you know share the room with money that'd be cool yeah, yeah, yeah. not for the money not for a title that that doesn't drive me that's not the motivation um so even if, or if it was a real fight, okay, if it's a real fight, fuck, I get to fight Manny. Yeah, yeah. that'd be fucking cool. Not 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 necessarily the money, yeah. but just the fact that you're stepping in the room with Manny. That'd be yeah. cool. He's a you know legend, so that'd be awesome. But I'm not doing it. You know, we're not. I the thought excites me, but then when you really look at it, like nah, fuck. That. Like you said, all the all the things you're gonna have to do and uh, give up. Yeah, and, yeah. Six months you training and this <laughs> and that and diet and I'm not yeah. I'm not for that no more. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm done.